Hi, I'm Michael Hansen, and I'm here with Stacy Howell. Uh, say hello to Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Stacy is an eighth grade math teacher at Richland Middle School. So thank you for joining us. And, You're uh, welcome. Thank uh, you for asking. Why don't you just share with us uh, some of the things that you've implemented this uh, semester? Okay. Uh, I've really used the Google Forms and the Google um, Slides. The Google Forms is one of my favorite. You can take four or five questions, pop them on there, and then you can have an assessment. You can have a quiz. Um, and what's really neat is that uh, it provides you with the data you need on each T, and it can let you um, reteach, or you know, it, it zones in on what you need to reteach or what the students are struggling with. So that, that's a great tool. Yes, it is a super great tool. And you're right, when you have the standard in there, you can see real quickly you know, what you need to, to work on and what they need to work on. Yes. It's really great. So uh, as I'm sitting here uh, looking at your classroom, there's obviously something else you've implemented. Uh, it looks drastically different. Uh, can you tell us about your arrangement and what you have going on here? Yes. When um, I first moved into the portable, um, it had tables mm -hmm. and so I've rearranged them so many different ways I just couldn't figure out what was working I put them in rows I put them in different tables uh, different configurations and when you came to visit one time you were saying that uh, use the starfish mode or the octopus mode where I'm pretty much set up in the middle of the classroom mm -hmm. and I can uh, project the lesson up on the overhead and I'm able to teach from the middle of the classroom, and that helps me keep the kids engaged. I'm right there with them. I'm not up at the front, and I can I can easily walk around the room way easier than it was before. It's it, different. <laughs> it's it's just more mobile friendly in here, and and I like that. You've got a rolling cart with a wireless keyboard and uh -huh. mouse yes. and the just stand holding the iPad using reflector. Yes. And uh, when I was in, I noticed you had students then working at the board on what you were projecting. Yes. And the interaction with you being removed from the front put an opening for them to be. Yes. And what has you the most excited? What have you enjoyed the most? When I can think of a lesson and then have the kids rotate or maybe not so much rotate where they're mobile around mm -hmm. the room but just their activities um, I can talk uh, for maybe five ten minutes and then I have half the room do one exercise on the Chromebook it instead of just doing the lecture the notes the worksheet um, it it gives the class some variety and I see you, uh, you have some headphones out. Uh, tomorrow you're having a lesson. Can you tell us what you have going on with the headphones? Yes. Uh, the, the one station. Yes, one station. Uh, that's um, pretty much a student-led station. Uh, I recorded a video of, of today's lesson. Uh, a core group of four kids are going to go to that station, um, watch the video of me going over the lesson, and then they're, they're ready to start their work. Uh, so instead of listening to me um, at the beginning of class, which might go 15 minutes or something like that for the new unit, they're going to get done in six minutes. And then, then after they're done, they can get their homework and start working on that. What have you seen as far as any kind of improvements or engagement with your students since you've implemented these changes? Um, a lot of the students want to be in that station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Self-led? <laughs> Self-led like yeah. station. Uh -huh. They want to be over there. So that is helping uh, with behavior. Mm -hmm. That's helping people stay on task. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited about the new year because I think, you know, more kids are going to want to rotate into that station. The video is available uh, on Google Classroom for right. the whole class. And that's another thing you've implemented. You're yes. using a Google Classroom. Google Classroom. Classroom is awesome. All the assignments are in Google Classroom. And I mean, it's it's a good thing. Really it helping is the kids very out. Very good thing. Thank you so much uh, for everything, and thank you for joining us, and thank you for watching. Uh, awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank Happy you. New Year. Happy.